Hello everyone, welcome to the episode number 50 of Q&A series with Suresh GP. This is a special episode because we are ending the DevSecOps aspects with this uh, session of 50. So the question that was picked up for this episode was how does DevSecOps job perform in the recession? As you know, we are in, a, in 2023 and we are looking at the whole world looking at a recession happening in 2023 and there's a lot of panic around the whole world to look at which jobs are going to be staying intact because people are making layoffs and uh, it's going to be a very um, tough um, um, situation to keep wait and watch what's going to unravel. But as I start to consult, coach and train people across the world, I get an opportunity to talk with a lot of the um, practitioners, uh, business leaders, um, companies, uh, human resource managers, or recruiting uh, professionals across. And uh, there's a good news, right? There's a huge demand for DevSecOps opportunities globally, right? And, and I was just talking about in one area in just Bangalore alone, there are 3,072 jobs of DevSecOps engineers uh, that are uh, vacant. So um, I don't believe that recession is going to stop us from uh, applying this position. So which means the demand for DevOps is increasing, but now you need to get become more specialized in the world of DevSecOps. Now, what does it mean to become a good DevSecOps engineer? You can watch the previous episodes, but if I look at the profiles of people who are asking for DevSecOps opportunities, I look at some of those roles where you get an understanding about pipelines, understand deployment automations. You should have some knowledge about scripting in the way we work. Since typically, I think the CI CD using Azure DevOps uh, becomes very popular. So having an awareness about that is going to be important. Uh, understanding about your static application security testing, your dynamic application security testing, with some of the tools like SonarCube or app scans, that could be uh, useful. Um, you, your basic skills, right? Uh, we'll also have to have some programming language, understanding about uh, working with um, um, Agile, Scrum, uh, understanding uh, some of those, um, you know, uh, technology landscape like Kubernetes, Docker, that helps, right? So something around containers, something around uh, microservices, and how that applies in the world of um, those applications also will help you to gain a lot more perspective on DevSecOps positions. So if you are already a developer or you are from an infrastructure background, try to improve your skills in terms of technology, in terms of processes, in terms of tools. And also do not forget that it's also about collaboration, communication, and being uh, proactive in taking decisions. So a lot of times I would suggest that uh, if you do not know where to start with it, you can start with DevSecOps Foundation from the uh, DevOps Institute that we are offering. You can find out the links from our website called topsolutions.com, uh, but also look at various other resources that are available uh, within our uh, site, like blogs. Uh, focus on going to DevOps Institute where you actually have a lot more blogs, case studies about DevSecOps that people have done a lot of podcasts as well that you can gain advantage of it. Do not miss attending also skill up days because it gives you some of those real world practitioners talking about those concepts. If you want to advance your topic, you can also look at DevSecOps practitioner. And if you are very specific to tools, we also do a CI CD tool chain training. So you can reach out to us at info at topsolutions.com where we can tell you about the most popular tools in the market that you can that you can get yourself equipped and then be ready to um, get successful in your career. So the good news is DevSecOps jobs are bound to stay intact and there are huge opportunities, but we are not getting talented people. So upgrade yourself, put on your efforts, watch the uh, series, refer it to your friends who could get benefited about these episodes because our mission is to also add more value to you to for you to become successful. I hope that this episode of Q&A series was useful to understand the relevance of DevSecOps jobs, the skills that are required, and how you can upgrade yourself with the training, consulting, and coaching from top solutions. 
I look forward in seeing you in a brand new episode of Q&A series with Suresh GP. Thank you so much for watching and thanks a lot for your support. And I wish you all great success in your Dersakov's journey. Thank you very much.